Hello, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to determine the effective depth of a reinforced concrete beam. So let's start. Well, uh, this question raised most of the time by the students and uh, there is certain confusion uh, how to determine the effective depth. So let me go straight to the problem. So if I have a beam cross section like this okay cross section and i have a total depth d 400 here and a width here now the effective depth is the length or the dimension from if this is the compression fiber for example from the compression up to the main reinforcement center okay or the centroid of the reinforcement okay now here if you have maybe two layers of reinforcement you have to calculate the centroid and from that centroid up to the compression fiber end this is what we call it the effective depth for example for this example i have here three phi 20 and i have the strap diameter to be phi 8 it means 8 millimeter and this uh, phi 20 is 20 millimeter now the total depth is 400 where the formula for the effective depth is d minus the sum of these three parameters what are these three parameters these three parameters is one the concrete cover here below the stirrup okay so always we have to provide sufficient concrete cover for the reinforcements so that we uh, protect it from corrosion and other environmental actions this is one so here is the cover okay the cover now what's phi s it is the diameter of this stirrup okay let me show it in the uh, yellow color here so this dimension that's the clear cover plus the di the diameter of the stirrup and the last is the centroid of these uh, bars it means half of this diameter okay so let me show it in the green so half of this so the clear cover plus the diameter of the stirrup plus half of the diameter of the main bar these three these three together we may give them the name or the label d2 this do is called this d2 is called the effective cover so this is the effective depth and this is the effective cover so the total depth minus the effective cover gives me the effective depth now here i can calculate the effective depth 400 the total depth minus the concrete cover minus the diameter of the stirrup minus half of the main bar diameter so we get the final d effective or the depth the effective depth equals 357 mm that is the distance from the compression fiber maximum top compression fiber up to the centroid of the reinforcement that's all for this video thank you see you next time